Welcome to the Creation Evaluation Station. On this episode, we will be evaluating this. It's Jurassic World Dominion, Lego Jurassic World Dominion, Triceratops Pickup Truck Ambush. They certainly like their ambushes or their breakouts. Ambushes, breakouts, there's one other one. Attack, I think. Something like that. Anyways, um, if you're not familiar with my channel, I do um, in-depth reviews of models and construction kits, both new and old. Mostly Lego, but sometimes other products as well. I also do reviews and discussions of other creative works, such as movies, cartoons, and video games. And because they're in-depth reviews, they can be long, so make sure you're using the timestamps down below to skip to the parts that you want or to use it as bookmarks. Um, this set is the last Jurassic World Dominion set. I saved the best for last. Sort of. At least, I don't know. This guy, Triceratops, is my uh, favorite dinosaur. Now, there's some strange things with this set. Because if you look at the the booklets and any of the promotional material from any of the other sets this set is not in any of them they don't show the triceratops or they show the spread of all the dinos because i think they don't show the dilophosaurus either but that they do show the set where they show the list of sets they don't even show this set um, so I find that rather strange. I don't know. I was thinking about it, and I also have heard some other things. I'm wondering if they weren't planning on putting this scene in the movie when they went and edited it. That's why Lego first didn't think they were going to have it, and then they did, so they decided to release the set, or something like that. I'm glad they did, because it was kind of a fun uh, scene. Um... This isn't totally accurate from the movie, but we'll talk about that later. Um, it's a small little box. Um, I like the set for what it is. So, uh, oh, and I'm kind of curious what the actual packing instructions and stuff look like in here. But uh, we'll find out soon enough when we open it up. Uh, first, let's... Take a closer look. There we got four different characters besides the Triceratops. And get a nice action scene there. Here we got more, including this nice little size comparison here. Um, yeah, so it's stats. It's uh, set number 76950. It's a 7 plus set. Once again, strange age, but whatever. Um, has 210 pieces in it and sells for $39.99 on the uh, Lego website. And uh, it's currently available. I've seen them in stores now. Too. First, I didn't even see this in stores. I've seen the other sets in stores. And once again, making me think this was a delayed product that they didn't know they were even going to release. Um, makes you kind of strange that it got so far and then, mm, I don't know. <laughs> makes you wonder what else didn't make it, make the cut or whatever. Um, but yeah, really curious what's inside this one. Uh, let's see, I get everything? Price, everything. yep, we're good there. Um, so let's go open her up and see what exactly is inside and put it together. Here's the contents of the box and here is the instruction booklet and while we're at it I was questioning whether what there's any difference with the paperwork here than in the others. There's no triceratops here in the booklet. 
As I said, there's no Dilophosaurus either, but uh, the weirdest thing is this. The set is not here in the lineup. All the other sets are. It's very strange. So it's it's missing from its own set. <laughs> its own instruction booklet. But that aside, let's get back to this. We have one bag, very small bag, though it definitely looks good and full. Bag two, which has a lot more air in it. And bag three. Oop. Sorry. Bag three. On top of that, we also have the Triceratops bagged up in two separate sections. First, being the body and the legs, and the head gets its own bag for some strange reason. But that's it. So let's see what's in the bags. Here is the contents of bag one and the loose or the extra bag with the dinosaur in it. Now we'll take a closer look at him later. I think he's got a really nice paint job. Um, this bag seems to mostly have the little uh, ATV that the, our heroes are riding. And are, speaking of which, they're in this bag. There they are. Not a lot in this. Here's the contents of bag three. Or, excuse me, bag two. Getting ahead of myself here. Um, I got some interesting multiples of these single boat haul, whatever you want to call them, pieces. And we have a, a double over here. That's an old piece. But the first time I've seen, well, I think I've seen these before, but not in this many quantity. And we also have some tire hubs, which isn't surprising. A long plate. We've got some different colors in here. Must be for the interior of the truck. And definitely have the truck here, but not all of it. There's no tires and wheels. we got one more bag to go. We have one of our uh, guard bad guys, whatever you want to call them. And a lot of small pieces. And that's pretty much it. Here we are at the third and final bag. Got the rest of the parts of our truck. Got windshields and tires and wheels and everything else. We have our last character. And there really isn't a lot in this one. Um, I feel like they could have made this all in one bag, which would make sense. One bag for the smaller vehicle, and one larger bag for the bigger vehicle. Why they need to divide this up in two, I don't know. There's really not a lot here. Not a lot at all. Here we have the leftovers from this set. Not too much of interest. Typical gribble and stuff. There isn't even any extra accessories, really. Extra syringe, that's about it. Um, but yeah, that's it. So here we have our cast of characters for this set. Two good guys, two bad guys. Pretty good balance. Um, got Claire Deering, of course. And this is Franklin Webb. And I believe he's from the previous movie. Um, then we have just simply two guards. Um, guards or thugs. I feel like they're hired thugs. But they're called guards, so we'll go with that. <laughs> um, I know what seeing this set is referred to in the movie and yes they're just kind of hired thugs that are guards for what's going on um as for these guys they all look pretty good um no complaints on opacity though there's not too many light covered colored things since these guys are both in uh you know um spy mode so to speak <laughs> in all black trying to be um, invisible at night um, then you have thugs with their hoodies and jackets and you know just common clothing which these guys are good for people who just want some you know pieces for common clothing that works great uh, but yep there we go everybody's bald um, Faces look really good. Uh, I 
Yeah. I do like how they design these um, chess pieces. Um, for one, if you notice that the zipper button up, whatever it is, is the opposite for each one. And it's because one's that that's normal for clothing. Um, women's uh, clothes uh, do up differently than men's clothes. Uh, it's one way you can tell them apart and they actually did that when they were designing these. So that's pretty cool. And I love this guy with his chip tooth or chip tooth or tooth gap. I don't know what it is, but that's quite the grin with the, the, the tooth gap there. Let's uh, spin them around. Check out the backs. Okay, so the bad guys do not have second faces. I thought maybe the one with the wig hairpiece would, but the, the guy with the beanie obviously couldn't because it would show up. And so our good guys have second faces that are all scared. And the back of these look just fine. Doesn't appear to be any printing on the back of him, which is a bit odd. But uh, printing's not bad. I mean, they got, these are hoodies apparently, so they had their hoods hang down. Of course, this guy's got a hoodie. Um, but, you know, other than that, there's, I mean, plenty of detail for what they are. Um, you know, the backs of clothing never really have too much. I mean, hers look a little bit more cinched, which also is that... Uh, you know, you'd expect that from women's clothes more than men's. Uh, but, yeah. They did some nice detailing and, uh, you know, put some thought into this. Then just throw normal or any old torsos here. And here is the Triceratops, my favorite dinosaur. Now, the only thing about this, this is not the right dinosaur that was in the movie. It was a Ceratopsian, but... It was not the Triceratops, and I don't remember, recall what it is. I'll probably put a quick note here I, <clears throat> regarding it. But, uh, yeah, it was a, a horn dinosaur. It did have two, had two really long horns, but did not have a snout horn. And uh, I don't remember what the name of it is, unfortunately. Uh, but I still love this guy. He's... I mean, it'd be great if we got other Ceratopsians in the Legos, uh, but I'd be, I'm be i just happy with more Triceratops, um, of course, uh, since he's my favorite. And yes, he's my favorite of all the Ceratopsians, so the other ones are fun and quite interesting as well. But as you can see here, he is uh, not exactly uh, the same on either on both sides. Especially the face and even on the side. He's got scars all over him. He's seen some days, you know. He's seen stuff. Um, I, I love it. He's, he's a, he looks like he's been through quite a bit. Whether it's fighting other dinosaurs or maybe even humans. Um, he's got, you know, gotta have a scar right over the eye. Yeah, that, that looks... He, he looks badass. <laughs> um, but yeah, th this guy looks awesome. I like the paint job, even if this is a reused mold. Um, I like this new paint job. Now, I have problems with the paint job. And for one, well, I looked at the box. Or looking at the box, at least the cover, it looked like this was at least partially dark green. But I think it's some kind of reflection or ink bleed or something. Because, now look on the back of the box, it's actually gray. Um, so, like this, like he's supposed to be. Now, that's fine, but there is one other thing. is This dark, very, very, very dark red that's all over him. It's supposed to be a lighter red. Um, I have the box next to me. Let's just bring it out. So, let's see if I can set him there. In the box in here. We can look here. I don't know if you can see what I mean by thinking it was really dark green. Which would have been a cool color scheme. Dark green and the, the gray. Maybe on the back or whatever. 
But yeah, the all this red is much brighter. And it's all over the box like that. I mean, there it's there. The artwork up on top here, and that's just artwork. Um, I mean, maybe it's the ink they use for the box, but, you know, all over the back here. And you can see that it shows the gray skin here. Um, just looks greenish on the front. But that red is definitely way darker than it, than, than it shows here. Um, I don't know if that's quality or they just changed it so it wasn't bright red. So it looked a little less like blood. Although it still looks like dried blood. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm not exactly happy with all that. But his paint job, it still looks good. It just doesn't look as advertised. And uh, I really like his banged up, damaged look. Now, he's got neck, ro well, neck goes up and down, but also rotates. Which means you can move it there too. Um, arms and legs move, and they're very stiff. No tail movement. It's got six studs on his back, and feet have anti studs all over the bottoms. Um, his horns are rubber, both his little snout and the bigger ones, and his beak is also rubber. Why the beak? Don't know, but that's the way they design these triceratops. Uh, other than, yeah, so there he is. It looks good. I'm kind of happy I got them. I'm just not sure what's with the slightly different color. Um, it was on purpose for what is going on. Um, if anybody else has this set and it does appear to be a brighter red, let me know. Um, or if it, you know, it's the same. I'm kind of curious if there's some mistakes that they made in some of the line or whatever. Here is the whole set sitting together so you can see it. It does look like a very fun set. Um, now, this is not entirely movie accurate because these guys were not in a little tiny HV in this scene. And it's not a big spoiler, but they were in a van. Um, that's enough I need to tell you that the scene, this isn't I say, uh, accurate. If they had a big van, though, it probably would have cost a lot more for the set. Um, that being said, I like the ATV. We'll get to that. We'll break it down. We already covered the, t the Triceratops. We will do this guy next and then the truck. Um, so let's put the Triceratops away, although we're going to need him later. And just look at this ATV. Now, if you saw my other video um, with the Gigantosaurus and the Therizinosaurus, um, there was an ATV in that, and this has a very similar build. Except I like this one better, and this one also is a two-seater. I like how they designed it, so you could put two in there. But we're going to take them off here, and toss them aside. You can see there they got two seats, essentially, where you can... Um, only two studs, hold them down. They're not stuck to them. It used the same handlebars um, system as the other one. I like the front of this better. I don't know why. I felt the other one just felt, I don't know, off. And maybe it's because the back was different. I think it was a slightly smaller vehicle. Like this might have been up one more brick. I don't know. But I like this one very better. It just looks more accurate to a real ATV. I <laughs> like how it's got brake lights. So, um, got a single headlight. Interesting color scheme, nothing fancy, um, but works. Rolls really good, like most of the stuff Lego has. Whoa, coming back. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that. It's a cute little ATV. Pretty well, nice design. Not too complicated, easily to reproduce if you wanted to build a whole fleet of these as long as you had tires or similar tires. I don't know how easy it is to get these tires. Um, but yeah, that's that. 
Now, on to the truck. Kind of the main attraction, because I like this truck. It looks good. Um, it's definitely a different build from the other trucks, but not too dissimilar. Um, I think it's a little bit smaller. I have to get the tr other truck out and see. We'll, we'll maybe do the ju just bleh, do that. Um, but before I get that, let's look at this truck closer, and then we'll I'll bring that out and compare it. Let's get rid of our grunts here, our, our guards, as they're called. Um, we've got a nice little headlight here. And before I get into too close to detail, where the headlight here, there's another hole here. And this is great because you take one of these guards, you want them to drive, you got to get rid of the weapon. And the weapon can go right there. Now, you wouldn't really, if I can find the hole, you wouldn't really drive down the road with a train gun hanging out the side of your, your truck like this, but it gives you a place to put it while you're having, putting him in the driver's seat and you don't have to worry about it falling off or anything and getting lost. So I find this nice. Just just have, you know, it doesn't take much to have a place for weapon storage or whatever. Now... Let's look closer at the truck. Let's start back here on this side. Some nice fenders. Now, fortunately, you can see some of the colors inside the wheel houses, um, which is a bit disappointment. Even some a little under there. Nothing too fancy on the bottom. We get to the back here. Now, there's nothing too going on here in the actual bed but there is no window here this is completely empty um i'm not sure why they did this just to save the on space bricks i thought maybe i thought maybe a dinosaur was supposed to like sit in here and look through or something i don't know um but it's only a single seat seater Zeter, although you can easily put the other guy here on the back, and uh, that's what I usually do. Um, but yeah, there's no functioning tailgate. There is a pop-off hood, but that more has to do with the feature of this, which we will get to in a moment. Let's flip it around, look at the other side. As you can see, I left the train gun sitting here, and that's not too bad. Um, the front looks really good, and you can't tell that there's hidden f a feature there. It is a hidden feature, which is making it really, makes it really nice. Got our headlights there. Oh, I have the wrong color there. Oh, no, it's red. That's why there was two orange pieces left over. <laughs> well, we'll get that fixed. That's supposed to be orange. Um, I don't know what happened there. Uh, but anyways, the top comes off so you can put your driver in there it's really nice it's got plenty of room to fit in there so it fits, or goes in pretty easy now it clips on just these two studs the only thing holding it from falling in is this which is rather nice piece and rather ingenious as well it just sits on there like that it's not gonna go anywhere it's clipped on to these. It's nice and solid. Okay, so we, that hood. All right, we have to bring our Triceratops back in. But we don't have to, because when we have a truck versus a Triceratops, that's what happens. There is basically, it's not a spring, but it, it's a sliding part here. And when it gets pushed back, it pops off the lid and this is a very nicely designed feature and it pops pretty good too if you hit it with some force I didn't hit it too hard when I first did it now there's some weird colors there's not an engine in there or anything some weird colors on the bottom side of this part but yeah the truck looks good it's very hidden it, it looks so awesome and uh, works so well. 
But you can, you know, you could crash that into a wall and have it pop off too. You don't have to have the triceratops in there. Um, it just kind of shows what happens in the scene in the movie. Now, let's go get that other truck. So, I was a little surprised. First, I'm like, oh, the truck that I thought was bigger, which was this one, is actually smaller. But in closer inspection, it's really not smaller. Like, pair of these. It, it's designed a little bit differently underneath, but it's really interesting because you can tell the difference. This this is designed to look like a regular utility truck. Well, this more of your Bronco off-roading truck here with the higher sus suspension and <laughs> hood that pops off. You hold it, touch the wrong spot. Mixing, making it for, these are both nice trucks and the love how they designed them to look differently. Um, just very small things that come off different. But if you look at their main bodies really close, you know, they're, they're roughly the same size. It's more same length, same width. Um, these hubs come out a little bit further, and I think the tires do a little well, bit as well. Um, but it's, it's, they're essentially the same bodies. Now, that does not mean they're the same builds underneath, and they aren't. Um, I mean, especially this one was d designed with the, the hood underneath. Be kind of fun to try to do the same thing with this one. I don't yeah, I think it might be possible. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, both trucks are amazing, but we're primarily focusing on this one. And, uh, yeah. And that's it for the review. Let's head back for the desk for a final eval. Here we are back at the desk to give this a final eval. Now, my overall thoughts is I really like this set. It's got my favorite dinosaur, but it's not just for that. I really like this truck as well. Um, and even the ATV is pretty cool. Um, so I, overall, yes, I like this set. And not just because it's my favorite dinosaur. Although that's definitely a plus. <laughs> um, so let's uh, get down to the eval. Uh, as far as appearance goes, I would have given this a 10. My problems is, are with the Triceratops. And uh, everything looks good, but when you compare this to the box, the dinosaur does not look like as pictured. That's the problem. He still looks good, but he's not as advertised. And because of that, I took off a point. And if, as far as appearance is going, this is getting a 9. I'm sad it doesn't get a 10. This truck looks good. The ATV looks good. The Triceratops really does look good. It's just not as advertised. Um, so that's a 9. As far as function, everything rolls really well. Really well. This works great. It works great for two-seater ATV that works fine the truck works good hood or not the, hood, the the top lifts off so you can put a guy in there um, you got plenty of room to do stuff here in the back in the trunk or the the, the bed of the truck I keep calling it a trunk I mean technically it kind of is but it's also a truck and I don't probably offending truck people out there it's a bed <laughs> Um, but the bed of the truck is plenty of room to do stuff with. I got the guys standing back here, but you can put a get one guy in there. Um, and then there is the damage to the front end, the, the hood popping open. That works well and is probably the best thing about the set besides the Triceratops. I mean, it is right up there. Uh, kind of has to have the Triceratops works with it. I mean, 
I suppose you could use other dinosaurs, but you know, bam, crash. <laughs> having a having a crash, uh, a face off. Um, so as far as function goes, I uh, can't see it. Yeah, I gave it a ten. Function got a ten. Um, so much goodness here, and fun, which is our next score. I, yes. <laughs> Um, lots of fun. Dinosaur chasing the cars, the, the trucks chasing them. Um, everybody's chasing everybody and got dinos running and ramming trucks and, and everything else. We could, this is so much fun. And the build for the truck was also good. And even, even the ATV was fun to put together. Even though it's kind of on a small side, it, it was a nice build. I said it's similar to the one in the uh, the big big set, the Gigantosaurus and Therizinosaurus attack set. Big long names, and I can't remember them all. Um, both the ATVs look similar, but and they're both fun to build, interesting to build. Um, done differently than some of the other ATVs I've seen. Um, and look real good as well. So, oh, fun. Yes, like I said, yes. It's getting a 10. Fun's a 10, for sure. And now, technique. I already talked about the AV ATV just a little bit. But yeah, that's some interesting different uh, uses of parts for an ATV. Now, granted, they use something similar with the other set, uh, but it's a new design. And it's very clever how it's done. And this is designed differently than that one because this one is able to have four, two people on. I almost said four people. I had two people on. Um, then the truck. Some nice build design. But they build this little truck, which is the same size as the other truck, but with the function in the front to have the hood pop off when it gets damaged some nice little techniques in there to get it done such a small area yeah it's it's very clever how it's done um so also technique is getting a 10. so as you can see this set is pretty good if it hadn't been for the 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 the, the, the color scheme on the, the toy which by the way if anybody else has gotten the set and it looks better than this one I'm curious um, if it's a much more muted red than what's on the box like mine did is or whether it's bright nice and bright like that one um, let me know down below in the comments please um, I'm curious and uh, yeah so it would have almost got a solid 10 but it didn't because of that one issue um, like I said, Triceratops still looks good. It's just, you gotta have things as advertised. Uh, so, I, you know, you, you take that, you still get, you, you add it up, divide by four, you still get a 9.75, which rounds up to a 10. So the set is getting get a 10 as its final eval grade. It's really good set. But the bad news is still coming. The price is horrible. And it makes me very sad. Because this is an awesome set. So. It's $49.99. And most of these $40. Or $39.99. Most of these $40 sets are too expensive. Does this look like $40 worth of stuff? I mean, is that really worth 20? Is that worth 20? No, no, no. I'd say 25 at most 30 if you're going to stretch out with inflation or whatever. 40 hertz. And what did I say? 39.99. And you divide that by the 210 pieces and you get 19 cents per piece. That's ridiculous it's almost like uh, duplo prices uh 
but the, you know there's reasons why those are that those, those prices but it, it's really ridiculous and i don't know i think lego might be just trying to get what they can with the hype of the movie and maybe towards the end of the year when it gets closer to christmas and stuff they will lower the prices on some of these most of them especially these 40 dollars ones they seem to be the worst the worst of the bunch this doesn't seem like 40 dollars uh the other truck yeah most of them don't seem like 40 dollars but the only one that was close is the helicopter or not the helicopter the airplane one that i've done and this is the last set i have for dress park dominion um but let me know what you guys think about the, these prices. I, this is such a good set, but it's so bad price-wise. <sighs> so, you know, that's what you do what you guys think. Um, but those are my thoughts and my final score of it. And of course, you know, and I, I don't say this all the time. These are my opinions. But I also try to show everything in detail so you can make a good opinion of your own. Um, doesn't have to reflect mine for sure. And you're welcome to share your opinions down down below. We'll talk about it and you know discuss why you do like it or don't like it or whatever. Um, not talking specifically to this set, but uh, you know, uh, yeah. So these are my opinions. Just just a reminder. Um, and even my grading is very much my opinion. I just have a nice system that makes it helps me to describe, uh, you know, break it down to what's good, what's bad. And, you know, sometimes the, the other, the stuff that's good outweighs the bad and brings the number up and down. Um, you don't always get tens like this set. Um, but, uh, yeah this is my last dominion set review i'm going to do a uh, uh top 10 sort of video um regarding these sets uh probably next week it may not get published till the week after i got a couple of things i need to get cleaned up um this needs to be cleaned up i mean clean up is a, a follow-up video um, like the top 10 uh, the transformer stuff I've had out needs a, a follow-up video and uh, I also need to work on that uh, um, Fixing the one Ninjago set video I got coming out. So there, there's a bunch of those I'm gonna be working on as soon as I get them done I will go back and finish the rest of the Jurassic World sets, which I have four I actually had three before I started this, but then I picked up one of the Camp Cretaceous um, sets. Um, so we'll be looking at that as well. Um, <coughs> I'll be doing that after I get this stuff done. So it might not be, I might start it next week and I might not. I got a lot of fiddly videos to, to, to clean up. Can't just go straight forward on ahead. And then we're gonna, after the rest of the Jurassic Park stuff is done, I'm going to, it's not going to be any particular series. I'm just still debating whether I'll do a non-Lego set review or I will do a Lego set review. But that's going forward. This is just a little bit of news. Um, but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. We're almost to 70. So 75 is definitely not unreasonable. So let's keep it up. Um, that's that's my next millstone, 75. Uh, that I'm going with anyways. Hundreds, really, I think the next biggest millstone. But we'll, we'll, we'll start with 75, as I said before. Um, so yeah, subscribe if you haven't and you, you know, enjoy this. And uh, share it with others who might have similar interests. And... Uh, also, comments down below, of course. Comments, questions, discussion. Um, 
Tell me what you guys think, what you're interested in with these Jurassic sets. I'm kind of glad I'm done. Almost done. I still have the older ones to do. But I'm kind of glad I'm done because it's an, it. these sets are fun, but... The, the lack of the building with them because this doesn't require much building so you, you get a larger set and you're only putting the, these little small things together it just doesn't feel as rewarding like oh look I mean, like I get the big old gigantosaurus set ooh I got the big big expensive set put it together it's like oh there's two dinos that's it and then the building and the vehicles and stuff. Now, it did have quite a bit of smaller stuff in it, but it's just not as satisfying when you, you think about it. Um, the, the build aspect of it. Yes, you're getting a big old toy uh, Lego dinosaur, but this is the stuff you're building, not really this. I mean, yeah, some of them come in parts, but put a leg in, put a head on, you're done, you know, put some legs on, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think of all, all of this and yeah I'll have a follow-up video with a top 10 basically I might do it I want to kind of do a second video just talking about the previous sets that I did before watching the movie in regards to the movie I've been trying to judge these after seeing the movie um, Separately from the movie I, like this guy is the wrong dinosaur. I didn't complain about that I mean, I think I did mention it I, my complaints with it is that the color doesn't look like the, the one on the box. Um, but yeah, so that's it here for me at the Creation Evaluation Station. Reminding you that creativity is key.